Dear students, now I'm going to introduce you to overlap matches. We've already looked at how global alignment strategy in the needleman wunsch algorithm can be used to compare to biological sequences. So these sequences could have been nucleotide sequences or amino acid sequences. So to start with, we employed the dot plots and we placed one sequence on top and the second sequence on the left side of a dot matrix plot and for each nucleotide in the top sequence, if it matched each nucleotide on the left side, then you place the dot on the corresponding position. If there was not a matching nucleotide or amino acid, you left that position empty. In this way, we arrived at a plot like this, wherein we had all the sequences all the nucleotides in both sequences positioned here as well as on top. Naturally, if you had two sequences that were very similar, you would have a very dark and strong diagonal. However, for the rest of the comparisons, there were sporadic matches as you can see in this area and here. Now, this dot plot was made useful by thresholding and we only selected the diagonals with length 7 or more, as you can see here. So if there are 7 nucleotides or amino acids that are matching in both the sequences, only then we consider these diagonals and therefore the entire dot plot became very simple, as you can see here. Next, in the needleman wunsch algorithm, we talked about placing the two sequences on top like that and on the left side like that and we initialized the left column and the top row with minus i into the gap so in this case the gap is minus 5 so you can see minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 minus 20 and so on next we wanted to compute the elements within the remaining portion of the matrix. And as you can see here, we have two examples that are computed here for you. So in the case of this one, zero. So we computed the top. So the top was minus 15 here. And the gap is minus five. So minus 15 minus five, it gives you minus 20. On the left side, you had five. So you put 5 and the gap is again minus 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0. While for the diagonal, it was minus 10 here. And you placed minus 10 here. You added a plus 10 because C is matching with a C here for this position. So it will be minus 10 plus 10. That will be 0. So you apply the maximum operator on these three values and you get the answer to be equal to zero. So you placed a zero here. Similarly, for this position, you computed the top, left and diagonal and you took the maximum from the resulting three values and that was five, so it was placed here. So this was the needleman wunsch algorithm and you used it to compute the entire matrix. Now, once you had computed the entire matrix and it was all filled up like this, you needed a trace back to extract the alignments. So to start with the trace backs, we started with the maximum element here at the bottom right. And we incrementally moved to the elements in the matrix that contributed this value. And in this way, we completed our trace back. Now the alignment here shows that there is a gap inserted at this position and there is a gap inserted at that position. So there were two possible ways to align these sequences. So once you have completed the trace back like that, you choose the alignment and you draw the entire plot. Now, what if a situation arises wherein the two sequences 
they are overhanging each other. That is, one part of the sequence is outside the other sequence. I will show you with an example. So, the idea is that in case the two sequences cannot be matched globally, there can be some overhanging or overlapping uh, portions in the sequence. So, the solution is the global alignment as we were just doing but with just one modification. Okay, here I have placed two sequences X and Y on the diagonal, uh, on the sides of the matrix. And as you can see that if such a situation arises wherein sequence X has a portion of it that is matching very nicely with a portion in Y, then ideally we will have this portion that is matching. But this portion on this side as well as this portion in the sequence on that side are hanging out. Another situation can be where you have the sequence X and Y such that the entire sequence Y is present within this portion of X. So, in that case, X has two hanging portions on either side of the sequence. So, in this way, such a situation needs to be handled using global alignment and therefore we need to look into how the traceback strategy can be modified to accommodate such a overlapping match. The interesting thing is that the traceback strategy can be modified in many other ways as well to have some very interesting alignment results which we will see later.